friends welcome back to Amanda's favorites I hope you guys are doing well I wanted to do a quick update video on number one how I'm doing with my journaling in my Erin Condren vertical sorry Erin Condren horizontal neutral um, and using my zip printer and what I've learned about the zip printer now after using it so I have the Polaroid zip printer and you have to go and get their app to use it. And unfortunately, because I have to use my phone to film, I do not have a big fancy camera, I cannot show you on the app how to do it on this video, but I have another video where we used my sister's phone in the video. And I will link that below. It's a video about her horizontal neutral and how she was using it for this and that's where I got the idea and where I was inspired to do this. And so my sister did a video with me and we actually showed you the steps. How you put in the app, you put two pictures on one printing page. So each one of these pictures, uh, normally the pictures are this big. And so you double them up and you get two per page. And so, here is the issues that I've had the Polaroid zip because I want to be completely honest and I've never used any other printer like this. So this is my only one. It prints dark. It prints much darker than the picture. So I have learned, which is an extra step and it takes longer to go into um, just my photos on my iPhone and just in the photo app on your iPhone, just the normal one. I don't even use any other photo app. Um, I'm sure there's better ones I could research. I just go in and make the picture a little bit brighter before I print it. Then if you want to restore it to its normal look to use for other things, you can just go back to your picture in your photo reel, in your phone, and you just push restore on it. Okay, so that's what I have learned that I have to do. Also what I've learned is I just don't have time to print every day, plus you're printing two per day and so you have to wait at least two days so what I've learned is some weeks I skip the pictures altogether, and that's okay because I did my writing and that's just how that week was and other weeks I do some pictures and I don't have them all and sometimes I do a big picture instead of two small ones and that's just the way it's been going for me and that's okay because that's what's working out for me right now so that's how I've been using it. Like this is this week and I haven't printed any pictures because I usually try to print them, well, one would hope on Saturday or Sunday for that week, the ones that I'm gonna print, I go through. Now I do write every single night because my memory is terrible. And if I don't jot down something from that day, that night, there is no way I will remember it. So that's just a little update and a little hint that if you do have the Polaroid Zip printer, Brighten the picture just in your normal iPhone photo app before you print it. You can print, like I said, you can use the whole photo sheet and print big, uh, which is how all three of these pictures are on this page. Those are all printed big, the whole sheet. Or you can print small, you know, and have a picture day that fits exactly perfectly in the box. I'll be honest, this has been more of a challenge for me to keep up with than I thought it would be. But I like the challenge for this year. Is it something that I would probably, well, this planner is actually for 18 months, so a year and a half. Is this something that I would take up on myself to do uh, like year after year after year? Hmm, probably not, but we'll see, who knows? I mean, I, I can't say, but I'm saying since it's been harder for me to keep up with than I thought, uh, you know, I don't know if I'll do it again next year. We'll see. But I'm going to love the memory of having this. And I am definitely devoted to keeping this one going. I just want you to know the video will be linked below that shows you exact app instructions. If you want to see us go through it on the app, I will link that video below. Also, I have longer videos on how I do this, where I got the idea from my sister. I will try to link, remember to link those below also. So this was just a quick, you know, how am I doing on it and what have I learned about the Polaroid Zip app? Also, something else to know about that app is every once in a while it just shuts down and the app doesn't work. 
it'll tell you like not working now or whatever. Just don't freak out. They're going to get it working again. Just wait a few days. I mean, yes, it's annoying because you can't print when you're ready. But in my experience, what I've had happen is I just waited a few days. I mean, it might have started back right the next day, but I'm not so on top of it to remember to check. I just waited a few days and then it was ready to print. So that's an update on how it's going. Those are some tips on the Polaroid Zip. And I have much more extensive videos talking about all of this. And I will link those down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck with your journaling if you're trying to keep up with daily journaling or any kind of journaling. Good luck with it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.